everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a thrift haul from Salvation Army. I just finished a live uh, sale with my friends um, Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage and Miss Pamela Blanchard. So I figured I would take advantage of having my table cleared off and having some makeup on today <laughs> and do a thrift haul video. As a matter of fact, I am going to film three thrift haul videos today. So you will see me wearing the same clothes, the same hair, and same makeup. So just so you know, I do change my clothes <laughs> and shower. All right, everybody, let us get into this thrift haul. So I spent a total of $63.40. And I got quite a bit, and I really got one really fantastic item, which I'm going to save for last. Now, I don't normally buy toys, but for some reason, the, this name uh, stood out to me, and I, and I, I do remember uh, hearing that these sell for decent money. So... With that being said, when I saw this, I'm like, let me look it up real quick. So I did. And I was correct. I did remember correctly for a change. And what it is, is it's Hess is the, is the name brand. Uh, Hess Gasoline Truck. Um, now, I don't know if it's missing any other pieces. But these do sell for quite a decent price, um, $25 and up. Uh, so I did pick this up and I'm going to look it up again and make sure that I have all of the pieces here. And it is from 1998. And it's some, you know, like I said, it's a little gasoline uh, truck. So I did go a little bit out of my comfort zone and purchased a toy. A while back, I purchased a couple other toys, again, going out of my comfort zone, and I still have them. They are listed on eBay, but they have not sold as of yet, and it's been quite a few months. So we'll see. All right. And then I got this. Um, I got this for my, my little Winnie. Remember these little Fisher Price phones, guys? They, these are a lot more streamlined. It's got the little pull string. A lot more streamlined than they were when I was a kid. But it looks brand new, so that's why I picked it up for her. So, very, very cute. All right. Then I pictured, I pictured, yeah, I'll be all right. I purchased some uh, mugs today. I got this one. Uh, it is a St. Patrick's kind of looking mug. May your heart be as light as a song. And I thought it was very, very pretty. So I got it. It's made by uh, Certified International. So we have that. And then I found some Starbucks mugs. This one is really cool. This one is from 2021. It's a 16 ounce. Look at that mug. How cool is that? I love it. Very abstract and colorful. And then I found these two. These are 12 ounce from 2020. And they are the Christmas mugs. Love them. So I'm gonna look these up. I may list I may list the Starbucks mugs on eBay if I don't um, see any interest um, after this haul video from my subscriber friends. 
So we shall see about those as well. I also got this vintage, um, it looks vintage to me, Mount Clemens Pottery. Uh, it is this little spoon rest. It's got radishes on it. I have to wash it still, but but it has a little hole here so it could be hung up on the wall as well. Now it does have a chip on the underside and a small little um, chip. Where did I just see that? Oh, right here. See that? No biggie. I thought it was really cute, so I grabbed it. And then I got this, you guys. Look, it's a Golden Girls adult coloring book. How cute is that? It's got all kinds of coloring pages. Oh my gosh. So I picked that up. I thought that was a great item. And I also picked up this piece of, it's just a plain piece of wood that I'm going to use for an upcycle project. And it's really, I love the color of it. I don't know if I'll paint it or not, but I could make a little riser out of it as well. So I picked that up. And I got... These three bottles for upcycling purposes. I'm going to do something Halloween, I think, with these. I got these two that are exactly the same and then this taller one. Now, this one's missing the cap, but I thought I would, uh, if I could find a big enough, if I have a big enough cork, I'll put a cork in all of these. So, I got those. Then I found this humongous Springer Spaniel statue. Look at him. He's dirty. I got to give him a bath. But he's in perfect condition. Look how big he is. Now, he is not marked. I don't know why this is like pinkish here like the glaze discolored or something but he is he's not marked but I thought he was awesome I had to get him I I don't you don't see them that big you know so then I got these two little packages of styrofoam eggs um that I'm going to I'm going to paint them with chalk paint and put the little speckles on them. And then I could use them in assemblages and, and whatnot. So these are for me as well for crafting. Oh, there they go on the floor. Oopsie. Okay, let me get a let me get a little sippy sip here. Okay. Then I got this. This is a beautiful, this is an FTD item. This beautiful planter with the fruit on it. Isn't that pretty? I loved it. Absolutely loved it. This would look awesome in a kitchen. Oh, there goes Fritz again. Pardon me, guys. I'm going to slide this stuff over here. Oh, I got the allergies are just driving me insane today. Then I got these two boxes. I already have, I have three of these in um, like a cobalt blue color. And then I found these red ones that you clip on your branches on your Christmas tree. Aren't they pretty? Look at those. Here, I'll take off the, um, so you can see them without the glare. Aren't they pretty? I love them. Love them. All right, let's see if we can get this back on correctly. 
There we go. All right. Maybe not. Yep, there we go. <laughs> then I got this bag of shells. Um, I'm going to sell the whole bag for crafting. There are some beautiful shells in here. Let me just show you a few. We have a lot of scallop shells. Look how pretty. We've got um, like a snail type shell. We've got these. Yeah, there's a few of these. Oh, this one's broken. I think these are mussel shells. Lots of scallop shells. And I just think these are so pretty. Got a little one like that. What else do we got? We have one, another one of these. Oh, these are pretty too. Look at the colors on these ones. So they're mostly like that. This one's cool. So I got all those shells. So pretty. And then, close this bag. Then I got, now these I'm upcycling. I have some vintage Christmas um, napkins that I am going to decoupage onto these wood pieces. So normally it spells Noel. N-O-E-L. And they're shaped like little houses. But as I said, I'm going to repaint them and I am going to decoupage some vintage Christmas images onto these. So that's why I purchased those. All right. And the last few items I got, I know a lot of people decorate with grapes and such. So I got all of these bunches of grapes. They're all brand new, still with their tags. I love these ones with the with the the shading on them and the with the pretty colors. Another one like that. Got this one. This one doesn't have a tag on it. Then we got two more of those. And this one. So I got that. Then I got this. This is going to be for package toppers. Um, it is a, it's a music quiz game. Um, and I got it because it was half price. So, yeah, I will just use these for package toppers. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's just some like a trivia kind of a game. So that'll be for package toppers. Then I got this beautiful pottery bowl. Oh, look at this, everyone. Isn't that pretty? And it's got a poor spout nice mixing bowl and it is um dated and signed 65 i love this bowl oh my gosh like i said i am just loving the pottery stuff so let me put these grapes in here all right the last item I got 
is, it's a Dooney and Burke purse. However, it has a little bit of damage on it. But I didn't think it was all that bad to leave it behind. So it is that pebbled leather. Um, there is the Dooney and Burke. It's got pockets on each side. Now, I do not have the strap that would connect to these. Now, this is, I'll show you the inside. It has your key thing. It's got all the pockets. The only damage is right here. See? On the very bottom and right here. But I think <clears throat> it might be possible maybe to touch that up with watercolors. If you could mix the right colors with it or, or uh, an acrylic paint in this color. I don't know. But I'm just going to leave it the way it is and sell it like it is. Because this is a beautiful purse. It really is a beautiful purse, even though it does have some damage. This is just dirt I have to wash off, but yeah. So, I ended up getting it. I hope I don't regret it, but I don't think I will. Uh, yeah, so that is everything that I got for sixty-three forty. So, I think I did pretty darn good, considering you know, that I got a Dooney and Burke purse. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. And um, I will see you in my next video, which I will be recording as soon as I clean up the table and bring my other stuff over here. So don't forget everyone, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and please share my video with someone that you think may like it. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye for now.